friends in Christ, it's the fifth day of January. As followers of Jesus, we have a challenge as we begin a new year. That challenge is to truly follow the example of the Master, to be true children of God and to treat others the way we would like to be treated. In the first reading today, taken from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 11 to 21, John begins this segment of his letter reminding us, this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. The message of Christianity has not changed. It is for love God sent his son into the world to redeem it. It is out of love Jesus went up to the cross to save us and taught his disciples to live in love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as I have loved you. He loved them by giving his life for them. Jesus here tells his listeners not to behave like Cain, who was evil in his action by murdering his brother. It is only when we love that we can truly say we have passed from death to life. Anyone who does not love his neighbor is an agent of death and has no eternal life in him. It is this love that opens us to share what we have generously with others who are in need. And that generosity is the external sign that the love of God actually abides in us. Jesus tells us, little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Loving in deed and truth is to live without guile, one who cannot deceive and cannot be deceived. In today's gospel, taken from John chapter 1, verses 43 to 51, Jesus in Galilee made a disciple of Philip. He comes from Bethsaida, the same city of Andrew and Peter. Philip also found Nathanael and told him of Jesus of Nazareth. Nathanael asked him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? His meeting with Jesus, however, changed everything. Jesus said to him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. The dictionary defines guile as the use of clever but dishonest behavior in order to trick people. This is a clear acknowledgement of the kind of life Nathaniel was living even before he met Jesus. For you who have been a disciple for many years, can this be said of you? Are you honest in your dealings with your family? Are you without guile in the way you deal with others in business? As the new year unfolds, we must all live in love and in God. We cannot live like Cain, who was evil. His honesty is evil. Playing tricks on others to acquire more for ourselves is evil. For those who live in Christ, in truth and in love, one thing is clear. You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. In Christ, heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Let us pray. Lord, give us the grace to love and to live in truth. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.